Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman. I want to welcome you to a very special, special edition of the Seaman's Cinema. Sit down. I couldn't wait to get back to the hotel tonight, man. I, I, it's been so slow getting stuff up because the, the con goes all day. I had to do this right now, man. So there's, there's got to be no lower thirds. You're not going to see my name. You're not going to see, you know, Twitter, Facebook, follow me at cinema underscore sit down. I don't have to tell you those things, man, because this is just all raw. Uh, the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse panel just ended here at uh, New York Comic-Con 2018. Holy cow, dude. Um, I, never in a million years could I imagine that Lord and Miller would do what they just did. Um, you know, it's one of those things, like, you see a trailer come out, like, a couple days before Con, and you're like, why would you drop a new trailer, like, not wait? Um, Lord and Miller had a real good reason, man. They dropped the first 35 minutes of the movie to the crowd here. Now I'm going to respect the oath that I made uh, with Lord and Miller and the entire crowd. I, I will not spoil or say anything about what I saw, but I can tell you how I felt, man. And I tell you, this is some of the most amazing animation you'll ever see in your life. Uh, this score and soundtrack, even in just 35-minute segment, um, is unbelievable, man. It just it fits the tone of the movie and, and the comic accurateness to what we saw. Uh, the Brooklyn accurateness. I, I praised uh, the Spider-Man video game on PS4 recently for how real New York feels. You want to talk about real? The 35 minutes of watching Brooklyn animated in this movie is so accurate to life and the characters, just everything they're doing, there's such an authenticity to it. Um, and this is the first time I've ever really seen a comic book movie that looks and feels like a comic book movie, man. The, the comic elements that they've inserted into this movie are unbelievable. They play so well. Um, and how they introduce, like how they introduce the comic aspect into the movie is insane. Uh, I, I just sat here and I went, God, Kathleen Kennedy, if you're not kicking yourself in the ass yet for getting rid of Lord and Miller, when you see this freaking movie, you're gonna go, damn, I wish that I didn't let Solo go. Um, to anybody but Lord and Miller. Like, I, I love Ron Howard. I thought Ron Howard did a bang up job considering he had to come in and like reshoot that movie. But when you see what these guys have going on in their heads on the screen, it just goes, yeah, you should have let Lord and Miller make that solo movie. That would have made hundreds of millions of dollars, man. I hope this movie makes hundreds of millions of dollars. Cause like Lord and Miller even said on the stage, they're like, you guys go out and you see this, we're gonna have to make like 35 more Spider-Verse movies. And we want it, man. I, I love seeing all the different Spider-Men. Um, you know, from what we've seen in trailers and clips and getting to see Miles and uh, Peter and, and just the, some of the characters that we got to see in that first 35 minutes. Uh, it just feels so, it's so different than any other comic book movie you've ever seen in your life. Um, and it is just so authentically real in a way that I didn't know. And the animation, man, is insane, right? Like the trailers, they give you this idea that it looks kind of like a two-dimensional drawing, like normal animation. And some of the movement in it gives you that 3D feel. Watching 35 minutes, man, it's crazy how these three-dimensional characters feel like they're on a, on, a, on a comic book page, right? Like, they almost feel like they're flat, but they're three-dimensional. And it's literally like if you could make a comic book come to life, it'd look like this. It, unbelievable, man. My head is absolutely... I, like, I tweeted out and I used the head explosion emoji, man, because my head exploded. I cannot wait for December. Um, and it... What's even better is like, it wasn't just 35 minutes, man. It was like reading the first issue of like a six issue, uh, like special run of a story, man. It, it, like the first 35 minutes really plays like a full chapter. Uh, and, and that's the way they did it. Oh my God, I can't, I can't believe that just happened. Unbelievable, man. Comic-Con in New York, I've been, I've been downplaying you the first two days. Thursday and Friday were real quiet. We got good omens this morning, and what Neil Gaiman showed us was really awesome, but what Lord Miller just brought to Comic-Con, woo! Yo, man, Comic-Con just arrived right now, man. That was unbelievable. Crowd was incensed, going wild. Uh, the anticipation for this movie is amazing. I cannot wait. All right, man, that's all the C-Man's got to say uh, before we get ready for our next panel, which is going to be Daredevil. Oh, man, and we are hoping. We're hoping that they're going to give us a full episode. I hope. I hope, man. I hope it's there. Uh, but... For the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse panel, uh, that's all I can say, man. Like I said, I will not go back on my oath. I am not gonna spoil anything about that movie because I don't want anyone to have to be like, why'd you spoil that, man? This, this is a movie you gotta go. You don't want spoilers, you wanna go and see this. So, from 
New York Comic Con live here, man, at the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. Just wrapped up the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse panel. I am the C-Man. I am signing off. Peace!